everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Hook Trigger Trail. Today we're going to be painting rifles, or a rifle. So I have a lower, upper, and a forend, and it's that key mod forend that nobody likes anymore, but it's all good because I got it super cheap. And then I'll be doing a color fill with uh, testers model paint on here for the logo. Yep, it's Poverty Pony. Check me out. And then safe, and then fire's going to stay red. So, what else we have is we're going to be using the Rust-Oleum. I know everybody says Krylon, but Rust-Oleum is the Camo Khaki Camouflage 2X. And then we're going to have the Earth Brown. And then for the base layer, I'm actually going to be going with the army green so we'll see how this goes and what's nice about doing spray paint rattle can jobs is you can always do it again so it's no big deal all right so I'm gonna start I think my base layer is gonna be the army green and what I'll do is I want this to be the main pattern the tiger stripe so that's going to be like the dark part and then my base layer will be the army green I might have some splotchies in it too like regular old school splotchy camera or camo and then maybe some stripes just for the grass stripes just for extra goodness so first things first we're going to lay down a little layer here just to see what's happening give us an idea and then let's see how this looks we're gonna go with the earth brown Maybe we'll do some overlay with the tan. Okay. That's pretty sweet. I'm digging that. That looks like a pretty neat pattern there. Um, you know, especially with some of the tan right there. So, I'm just going to flip this over. And I'm going to wash my upper and lower. with some isopropyl alcohol, upper, lower, and forend real quick, and tape it off, and we'll be right back. Get right to it. So, we got her cleaned off with some isopropyl, and we got her taped up. I'm taping up the rail, because I want the rail to stay black. And then tape up any part you don't want to get paint inside of the rifle. These little holes, not too worried about it. Um, if anything, you know, I can kind of scrape that out. But um, Other than that, I think we're ready to start spraying. So let's get to it. Going to start with my, I, I have my pins in.
to kind of keep the whole thing together. And we're going to start with Army Green. All right, so um, we did tape up everything, and so far we got cleaned, taped it up, and then so far we have our base layer of the army green, and that's kind of what I'm going to use first. Next I might go with some tans for the accent to kind of help accent that background a little bit. Uh, maybe like some stripes throughout that. Uh, once I get the whole thing done, and then, oh, I forgot to do my magwell. That's great. <laughs> I'm not that concerned about it, though. It'll wear out. And then, yeah, I'll do some stripes. And then we'll go with our stencils. Okay, now that we have our base layer down, and it's for the most part dry, we're going to hit it with some tan. Uh, to kind of go across, add some layers, add some layering stripes. Let's see if we do some up and down diagonal. Take the crap out of it. Hit that thing like that. So as you can see, we're kind of hitting it with some tan back and forth, just some nice little stripes. And that's all we're going to do on that layer. And we'll flip it. And we'll do the same thing. You want to be quick with it, but you want these to be nice, dense lines. That's going to add some 3D effect to it. Then, I'm going to go over it with a couple lines of the brown. See how that goes. Hopefully that works out right. <laughs> Yeah, see how it's kind of coming together now? I think that's sweet. Kind of got some G.I. Joe shit going on. Yeah, I like it. Nice thick lines there. Okay. Might be getting a little too carried away now. <laughs> alright. That's alright. So we'll try that. We'll flip her back over. Well, maybe we'll let them dry for a second. Or not.
All right, sorry if the sequences are weird. We're kind of having some technical difficulties, but oh well. So, we got some fake Cryptek thing going on here. But then I also have kind of the real Cryptek, so we're going to try a little bit of that too. So far the fake is looking okay. But we're going to flip over and do some on the other side. All right, you kind of can't see it anymore. It's it's camo now, isn't it? Try a little bit of that swirliness into it. Be some thick shit going on here, boys. Hey, maybe we want to try a little Cryptek. Knockoff Cryptek. Alright, that's cool. That showed up better than I thought it would. Where are we at? Yep, that's coming out better than I thought it would. Let's see, we got some tree bark here. Maybe we'll add some brown to uh, this. Okay, I don't mind that. I don't hate that too much. Oops. Huh. Meh, it's alright. Let's see, that's army green, I want some more tan, am I still in there, oh yeah,
see now. That's getting more better for sure. <laughs> then it, I got the edge of the steps. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. It's kind of, kind of neat. Why not? What was that? Raw green. Here, let's get down here a little bit more. That takes away that one angle. Let's see if I can redo that. There. Oh well. Tree bark it. Let's see what happens here. Sweet. I don't know. Am I getting carried away here? Well, it's camo, so like, right. Can, can <laughs> you get carried away with that? I mean, I like. I'm liking how this turned out. Turned out. You could probably leave that one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably good with that. What I'll, I'll do a couple more little detaily bits here. If I may, if I might. There we go. Digging that. Oh, back to the brown.
Okay. One last little bit of this overlay, I think. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll try some tan. How about that? Yeah. Hmm, that's looking pretty neat too. Actually, I don't mind that at all. Each side is kind of unique, you know. It's got its own little thing going on. Just for some funny business. Oh, sh oh man, that's actually really nice. All right, it's getting close. All right, it's getting close. One last time. Yeah. There we go. That's nice. I like that. I think I'm happy with that. There. With the crick, crick tap, <laughs> crick tap, crick tech, creek tech. Look at that. That is. A nice, I mean, I don't know if it's a nice paint job, but I like it. This side's sweet as fuck. I don't even know if I'll color fill, uh, I, sweet AF, I mean. I don't even know if I'll color fill in the, uh, the letters anymore. Might not have to, but this side's pretty sweet. This side's not bad either. I dig it. That's the camo job. Part two will come up when I have it all dry and assembled. Yeehaw. Well, maybe one last little blip give, here, huh? Give me a pain. Spin it uh, sideways for me. What's that, this? Other way, or whichever way. Yeah, I'll give it a pan. I know, right? 